Brian Abania, I hope that you're all doing well and keeping safe during this time that is very strange and very different for us all and I think something that we all have come across across the last nine months is a wellness perspective of how we're living our lives. I think in South Africa we're probably a little bit more fortunate to have a bit of space and I think a lot of us are starting to realize that wellness doesn't just come down to your physical being, it comes down to your mental well-being as well. I think that's really important. I think for me, a not only physical aspect that I really try to consider, but the mental one is every morning when I do wake up, I honestly believe you have a choice to make, you know, whether you're going to choose positive or choose negative. I try as best possible to choose positive more times than not. My wife will probably say I choose negative on a few days, but I think you know, if you can start your day out, hopefully having a good night's nice rest, which also is a very critical point, you know, rest is just as important as wellness, as keeping yourself stimulated. But if you can choose positive, you know, I really feel that you automatically create an area of positivity around you. And when you have that area of positivity, um, you potentially receive positivity back. So, you know, encouraging you all, you know, through this time to keep communicating, to understand that it is okay to not be okay, and hopefully in so doing, you know, allow yourself to communicate and talk to people and just make sure that you are okay because that's the most important. Because if you are okay, everybody else you're around is going to potentially be okay as well. Mentally, uh, sometimes it's very easy, especially in times like this, to get down on yourself. And, and what I try and remind myself and my family all the time is to stay positive by focusing on the things you can be grateful for. I think wellness, considering what has happened over the last seven months, or a little bit longer, is um, it's obviously putting everybody uh, on edge a little bit. You know, I think uh, people's patience have been tested, not obviously uh, with regards to your health, but just patience, you know, on a daily basis. And uh, there's been very difficult times. Uh, you know, some people have, have bear the brunt of it in a, in a harsh way, you know, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it's, it's lovely to be around people again. And, uh, you know, I think obviously with regards to golfing and the golfing community, um, you know, it's important that uh, we guys to see one another, start laughing. It's lovely to hear people laugh. You know, sometimes some laugh a little bit louder than others, but it's, you know, it's all to do with wellness. So, um, it's lovely to be back here and, um, you know, at Val V. Fantastic setup, the great estate and um, treatment is uh, is royalty as, as always. So lovely to be back. Hi, my name is Matthew Booth. I'm an ex uh, professional footballer, and uh, when it comes to my wellness, uh, staying as healthy as possible, um, I try my best to stick to a, a gym uh, regimen. Um, I cycle a lot, uh, and uh, just as a as a give back. Uh, as part of my mental uh, wellness, uh, we've, we've been running a, a trust for, since 2009, uh, running football clinics and uh, book clubs. And that's part of myself and my wife's uh, give back, which certainly helps as well. I think uh, for myself, it's malware fietsrij, malware golf. So it's lekker om uit te komen. Um, het is ook lekker met die veiligheid om samen met je kinders goed te doen. Ik bedoel, je kan ook samen op je fietsen weer, samen met je kinders gaan rondrijden. En uh, ja, ik denk dat het helpt met baie. En dan ook die camaraderie altijd tussen vrienden en zo is tijd. Je wil een paal van een community op waar die mensen bij elkaar komen. En um, ja, dat is een groot voorrecht om zo te kunnen. Yeah, I think the biggest thing about well-being, uh, I think first we need to acknowledge that we, you know, we worry about other people so much that we never take care of self. I mean, for me, uh, post lockdown and everything was just make sure that I'm okay. And then if I'm good, then everybody else around me can be good. Um, I've enjoyed my time on the golf course, and uh, I think for me the biggest thing was uh, a lot of reading and just uh, putting everything to perspective. You know, we, for a long time we, you know, coming from Joe, we're always chasing. But I think what transpired in the last couple of months is the importance of uh, the small things, you know, the things that we overlook, you know, the family, the love, the yes, uh, the thank you, and just always trying to give others uh, an opportunity and a chance, and, and just not against smile, you know, <laughs> you never know who, who needs it on that day, and uh, the well-being for me is just being outdoors, I mean, still <laughs> being privileged enough to be able to afford uh, the outdoors and, uh, and enjoy the what South Africa's got to offer. Hello everyone, my name is Olwa Dungane. And the most important thing for me is a positive attitude because I believe that's, uh, that's where it starts and everything else that can come, we all have a choice to either accept it and move on or either make it spoil our day. So positive attitude can take you a long way and, and most, important, most importantly, stay fit, stay positive and look after our bodies.